Hey guys, Crypto Lazy Geek here and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while and it feels super weird to be talking without a mask. But let's get to today's topic. You might have noticed that there are some small white boxes in front of me. And this is because I just received a care package from QHYCCD, the makers of uh, filter wheels or cameras um, that are one of the uh, main competitors to say uh, ZW, which is what I've been using. Uh, up to now. Now just to be clear, this care package, I did not pay for it. I will not get to keep it unfortunately. I will have to send it back within six months and the only condition uh, with this uh, package is that besides me sending it back uh, is that I make a video about it. Um, and there is no mention in the contract which is a one page like four paragraph uh, super not legalese stuff thing. Uh, about you know whether it should be positive or negative and I have no preconceptions as you know I've been more or less of a ZW fanboy maybe not fanboy no not fanboy I did call um, some of their products hot pieces of garbage um, but let's say I've been a user of ZW simply because you know I'm used to using them and it works and you know I don't have to think about it so now I will have to think about this so first Let's open this. So this actually just arrived a few minutes ago at my doorstep. And so I haven't looked inside yet. And so we're going to look inside together. I mean, if you don't mind, I mean, you know, if you don't want to look, just you know, close the video. Okay, uh, so let's start with the, uh, the thing that no one wants to see, which is the filter wheel. And we have stickers. Open box and find your treasure. It's, except that it's not my treasure. I will have to give it back. And uh, then we have a thing, which looks like an adapter. We have, is that a guiding key? What the heck is this? So it, there's like a, a DC 12 volt female plug on one side and then an RJ45 thingy on the other side. No idea what that is. We'll see. A USB cable. I'm a bit more familiar with that. Um, screws. Screws to put in the filters. Another weird adapter with some kind of power plug on one side and an RJ45 plug on the other side. And ooh, what is this? Very long screws. Look at the screws. Look at the screws on the cute. I have no idea what this is. Oh, this is scaring me. I'm already scared. It's like I'm, I'm too used to ZW. To me, it's ZW. I'm used to it. So to me, it's simple. So it will be a test to see whether I can get used to this. So this is hefty. It's pretty, uh, pretty heavy. There's this kind of like weird adapter with three knobs on one side. And I think this is specific to QHY. And that's one of the reasons I've never bought QHY because I looked at this uh, on their website, the adapters and how to connect it to their cameras and how to connect to the telescope. And my eyes well, went blank and I just like spaced out. And, uh, but I have to say, it feels nice and heavy and, uh, and quality. Um, it looks like it's the correct filter wheel. I'll be putting 36 millimeter filters in there. Um, yeah. Nice, I like this. Uh, so let's, how many filters is that? Like, I need to check, like, because it's like significantly bigger than the ZW, that's the Z ZW here on your left, my right, and the QHY on, the, on my left, your right. Hmm. Well, we'll see. I mean, as viewers of my ch channel may know, my ZW EFW is kind of broken anyway. So, uh, okay, I've seen what's in there and I have no idea how to use all of that. So let's just forget about it for a moment. And let's have a look at the real star of the show, which is the QHY268M, which is an APS-C monochrome sensor. The one that, you know, everyone has been waiting for. And uh, will, I ha will I need to get violent with this plastic? Do you want me to be violent with you plastic well in the end I will definitely return the camera to QHY but I don't think I will return this plastic thing so let's open this box and find our treasure I guess ah, nice it's well wrapped okay yeah I guessed right I can open the box and find my treasure plus there's even instructions on how to match 
the filter wheel to the uh, QHY268N, which is going to be uh, very important for me because I have no idea. And wow, uh, there are ribbons. It's like it's fireworks. Oh, on that let you wait, remove the camera without having to grab it with your dirty little fingers or your dirty little hands full of fingers. Uh, wow, that's that's a beast. That is a beast. So what do we have? Wow. Uh, it is a beast. Uh, so we have a small little tiny cute camera. Uh, and, and by that I'd be, I'm being ironical. This is a huge camera. Um, but then it's an APS-C sensor. Still the last APS-C sensor camera that I had was the ZW071 MC Pro. And it definitely wasn't that huge. But I think the, uh, the ZW version of this sensor is also uh, huge. So there is this kind of, oh my word, will I have to use a sh No, it's fine. There is a normal power adapter here and there is a CFW adapter in here. So wait, can I connect the filter wheel to this camera directly without, without a USB port? Huh, I guess that's it. I guess that's how it's supposed to work. Nice, you can see I've done my research. Um, and let's open that. Let's look at the sensor. Oh, I'm not showing you yet. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That is a beautiful sensor, monochrome APS-C sensor. There's even some patterns there that tell me that there is some heating elements to avoid dew formation on the sensor. This is, yeah, beautiful. Um, yeah. So now I'll have to figure out how to connect this to the uh, filter wheel, except that, you know, there's a, there's a manual. So I'll have to read the manual and wait a second. So there's more stuff in here. Wow. There's tons of stuff in there. What, what did it send me? So we have one box with what looks like a 12 volt extension cable. There's a USB 3 cable. Okay. Starts well, that like, okay. Yeah, why not? Yeah, because it looks like the DC 12 volt plug here is threaded, threaded and that's uh, unlike the ZW cameras that I've owned. So it would, it should make it a bit less susceptible to getting disconnected overnight. Even though as far as I remember, it hasn't happened to me with uh, ZW cameras. Okay, so we have USB cables. We have another box. This thing is full of things. Wow, okay. We have, oh, a power adapter. Okay. Huh, power adapter, okay. Would this, is, does this actually come with a power brick? That's like, you know, your standard computer power adapter, you know, like standard 110 volts. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm getting confused. Does this actually come with a, a power brick? That's, I don't, I don't think I've ever had a camera that came with a power brick, so let's see. What is this? Oh, this scares me. Adapter kit for 55 millimeter back focus lengths M48 MPCC. Uh, if you don't use an MPCC or you have no special requirements for the back focal length, you can use a standard T mount. I have no idea. Ah, that's 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 the part where like my blood tension goes up and I'm like, Ugh, I don't know how this is all going to work. There's like screws, there's adapters, there's dimensions, and this is the exact reason why I never bought QHY in the past. And this is another one for MPCC. I don't have an MPCC, so hopefully I won't have to use any of that because I just want to connect it to my little refractor there. But we'll see, I'm, uh, I'm scared. Still, oh man, this is like, it looks really well thought out. Okay. The heck is this? It looks like a miniature counterweight shaft for... I have 
no idea. And yeah, that looks like a standard two inch adapter. Okay. So two, for a two inch barrel, which I guess could work well. And we have tons of little uh, grub screws with an, a tiny Allen wrench. And I have no idea what all of this is. I'm scared. Okay, and we're just having a US Army helicopter stream by. It happens all the time, but they can be quite loud. And yes, there is a power brick. How awesome is that? Uh, so that's good. It comes with a power adapter. I guess, or at least my sample did. I don't know if it's in the official package. Uh, let me know if you know in the comments, but this is a very positive thing. I mean, I already have my own like adapters all over the place here. Um, so it's not like I need it. How many volts and amps is that? So it is uh, 12 volts, six amps. Yeah, so more than enough to like provide energy to not only the camera, but other stuff as required. So that's a very nice touch. So we got a power adapter, lots of things that I don't know what they are. Um, adapters for the correct focal lengths that I hope I will never have to use because the, the, the filter wheel will likely do that for me. And of course, we have the camera. And uh, for the moment, I am very impressed. This is some, it's, it is heavy. It feels like it's like one kilogram maybe. And it will feel super weird to attach to this, uh, this little telescope because I think it's like, <laughs> it's basically the same diameter as the, uh, as the aperture of the telescope. It, like, it's crazy. Okay, it's like the dust shield. Nice. Yeah, so now I need to figure out how to connect this to uh, the telescope and that's been like uh, yeah for the moment the un unboxing so it's good that it looks like there are systems that make it easy to connect this beautiful filter wheel with this beautiful camera i really like the, the color scheme like yeah that's sexy um and uh yeah a little unboxing and next time I will try to connect everything. So the first thing that we'll do is actually uh, put in the filters in here from my old ZW filter wheel and uh, and see how it all works out. So this has been a, just a quick like unboxing video. You know what my apprehensions are and uh, yeah, wish me luck. For the rest, I'll be sure to take uh, more videos of that. And with that, thank you so much for watching. Um, feel free to leave a like down below if you like, and not a like, but a like. Um, and uh, a comment if you have any input or ideas or suggestions about how I should connect all of this together with this little telescope, because I have really no idea how to proceed. I'll be reading some documentation online. And uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe as well. And with that, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget whenever you can, to look up at the stars and I'll see you next time.